Now, I was talking to somebody today, <clears throat> and it got me thinking. You know, everybody that I've ever talked to, if it came up in a conversation, has said something to the effect of, I thought I would change the world, fill in the blanks. I thought that something that I would do or was a part of would change the world in some way. And the older people get, the more they see or they believe that that's not true, that they're, that they're never going to make it. They're never going to get to that place where they change the world in some, in some way, some magnificent way. <clears throat> now, do you think it's coincidence that all the people that I've talked to have had that thought in their head? Or, and I mean, have you thought this ever in your lifetime? Have you ever thought that? In, in, in some version or another, have you ever thought that? Or maybe, just maybe, that little spark in you that is uh, that that direct line and that little tiny bit of a place where there is no amnesia, where you remember the Creator God that you are. Maybe that is what's speaking to you and everyone else. Because really, have you had that thought? No one's listening. You don't have to answer anybody out loud. I'm talking about you talking to you completely honestly. Maybe you wanted to change the world just your your area or or your town or your family or or a, a law in one in some area have you ever thought that or back to what I was saying do you think that maybe just maybe in that spark there's that spark of knowingness of really the creator God that you are maybe there's that knowingness that you can do that that you can change the world. Because what I've been saying to you all this time with these videos is that you are changing the world. Completely and totally that this, the goggles that you choose to wear in that voidness that I was talking about in the other video is yours and yours and yours alone. That you absolutely have the power to change timelines, change belief systems, and go to a place of your choosing every moment of every day. And you do not have the power to change everybody else's reality, everybody else's universe, but you absolutely have the power to create your life story in any way that you want to. Any way. You completely control it every moment of every day. And in from that perspective, from that knowingness, you do change the world every moment of every day. Because when you put together those moments and moments from your perspective, even if you do not do it consciously at all, still the life that you have led and will lead is unique to only you. It is created by only you. And whether you consider it good or bad, right or wrong, you are creating your perception of your life. You, you, are, you are creating a life from your perception. And that life that you are creating it is going to go into a library where it will be kept for all time, forever. Every moment of every day, every thought and deed that you have is going to, it, it, it is recorded and it is going to go into a giant library where it will be accessible, accessible by any being at any time. And how you create this world based on your perception, is totally up to you. You are a God of it all. And you are the only God of your life in the perception, organizing, creating, believing, knowing, 
So even if you are looking out at nothing, let's say you, you didn't move, you didn't become conscious at all. So you consciously didn't change a darn thing. Just by being on this planet and living in what you call space-time, you are creating something that is unique to you. There's no ways, no way around it. Somebody asked me today, can anything be undone? No, it cannot. Nothing can be undone. Your life and the uniqueness of it. Every aspect of your life is recorded for all time. There will be entities upon enti entities that go and check out the book that is your life who will be fascinated and amazed by it who will who will be will be inspired to make a new set of goggles who will decide to wear the goggles that is 3D 4D this creation this dualistic creation they will be inspired to come and play the game of 3D 4D dualistic creation your name and they will take your your life that you created as the only creator God in this life that is your life and they will put on the goggles and they will tweak it in their own unique ways and they will come and they will create a life that will go up on the shelf what you are doing every moment of every day is unique to you you see that's how I see you that's how I see each and every one of you no matter how you play this game it doesn't matter how you play it it is going to go in a book and it's going to go on a shelf and it's going to be accessible forever So that belief that you can change the world, I believe, comes from that tiny spark that is not in amnesia, where you remember the creator God that you are. I want you guys to begin to feel that powerful. I want you to practice talking to yourself in the mirror and calling yourself I am a God, not even a creator God. I say creator God because it couches the God word. And the God word has been so taken to this, oh, way up there, uh, per perfect, omnipotent, something being that's unattainable, and somebody that you could never have anything to do with. And I want you to start to really believe that you are a God slash goddess whichever you prefer to use. I want you to look in the mirror and use, and I want you to say, I am a God. Or even yet, better yet, I am the God. Because we're all one. We're all one. I believe that it is that knowingness that gives us that thought, gives everybody that thought that they can change the world because you know that you can. You know that you can. So say it over and over and over again until you start to really, really understand what I'm talking about. And y'all have made, if you're still listening to me after all these videos, you, you, are, you are very, very close to it. But now let's go full boat. In, jump in, both feet into the deep end. Start saying, I am a God. This is my creation. This experience that you're having is a godly creation. And as a God, it's perfect. And so is all the rest of the creator gods. It's all perfect. It's all perfect. Can you work on that for me?
can you say to yourself, you look yourself square in the eye, especially women, women, not trying to say that men don't have a hard time. No, uh, women, we have, especially, I'm 57. I think uh, the majority of my childhood, I was taught to put others first. I want you to put yourself first you, because ultimately, uh, that's the only person that you can control in this scenario anyway. So I want you to put yourself first. I want you to give yourself credit for the job that you have done. Your life as a God is unique and different from everyone else's. That is the reason why I want you guys to talk to each other, to do videos. Because I guarantee you, when you do that, when you share your life, people find it fascinating. G-Man is doing an awesome job. And isn't he good at making you feel relaxed, guys? Isn't he good at that? He's very good at that. Well, I want you guys to understand that no one can replicate what you are creating what you have created, what you will create. No one can. And from the perspective of perfection, with perfect being the end result, your unique to you creation of, of, of perceiving the void in your own unique way, moment to moment, is perfect. It's perfect because no one will ever be able to replicate it in any way, ever. Because you are such a complex God and you put so much into it moment to moment with everything that's going on that no one will ever be able to replicate it from, replicate it, ever. You are changing the world every moment of every day. And whether you're playing out a comedy or a, a tragedy or a, a, what's a good thing? And then a girly chick? <laughs> no matter what kind of movie you're making, what kind of game you're playing, you are changing the world every moment of every day. If you think about that void that I was talking about, having everything in it, and think of everything, now change everything that's in the void into uh, molecules set right next to each other. And you're standing in the middle of the void with a pencil, really tiny pencil, <laughs> And you are drawing a line from this molecule to that molecule to this molecule. And at the end of the day, you're going to back up and you're going to see all of it as a design. And no one will ever, ever, ever be able to replicate that design that you've created. And as I think we get older... And we look and we think that there's an idea of what it should look like. You changing the world. You making a difference. And when it doesn't look like that, how it doesn't play out, how we thought it was, was going to, we get more and more sad, more and more despondent about it. And I want you guys to really, really start to wrap your heads around that you are a god. We are the God. And that you are changing the world. You always have and you always will change the world at the whim of your desires, of your beliefs. Every moment of every day, you're doing it. Now that you're listening to me in my videos and I'm saying you are in charge, you are the one that creates all this, now you can start, and a lot of you are wanting to go to the fifth dimension, now you can start consciously, maybe, creating a book that has a really, really happy ending. 
There are already timelines in place, guys, that in 2017, there is complete peace on the planet. There are timelines you can get to that that exists. The unique way that you go about your way of having peace on the planet is unique to you. And as a creator, God, you get to do it however you want. If you're a creator God and you want to see mm, total unrest, the whole world of being at war, you can do that too. You're probably not going to be listening to my videos to hear me say that, <laughs> but you certainly can do that too. But for all of you who have always wanted to change the world, I want you to know that you have been and you are. Now, you can go out and play the game, and you can work towards peace on the planet by doing A, B, C, D, E, F, G, blah, blah, blah. And you might be able to bring peace to the planet here or there. Or you could meditate. You can create, you can take that perception, that God perception, and you can start creating, visualizing, drawing from molecule to molecule in the void, getting from a planet that looks like this to a planet that's completely peaceful. You guys got to understand that you, are, for those of you that are moving to 5D, and this is for 5D only, for those of you that are moving to 5D, you're not going to go from what it looks like now to 5D. Remember, no jumping? You're going to go through 4D. So what does that look like to you? Well, you've talked some, and I've asked you to visualize what 5D looks like. I've even told you what 5D looks like to me. But what is the what does all of what does Gaia look like on the way to 5D? What timeline would you like to go to first? You're a god. You can do whatever you want. Everything's available in the void. Anything and everything. What goggles are you going to put on? Do you want to put on goggles where the whole world, where there's no such thing as, as famine anymore? That everyone has enough to eat every day? That would be an easy one to get to because all you'd have to do is have somebody invent a, a machine that materializes food. An inexpensive machine that can materialize food. That it can take the molecules of the, ox, of the air around you that you're breathing and change those molecules into food that you can eat. Or maybe you can visualize that the whole world starts to really get into the breatharium and some sun gazing movement and that you could see that the people start to really do it it still starts to catch on like a uh, like a trend or a fad only this time you can see that science is watching these people and goes and takes in data and can prove that it works you could do that you could do the same thing with no more diseases or maybe on the way there's a cure for cancer very, very close, uh, openly in the, the, on the internet, where a lot of cancers, uh, they've got a lot of ways that they believe can cure cancers now. That would be a, a pretty one. You wouldn't have to bend the belief systems much to get that done. So on the way to 5D, where everything is pristine and clean and beautiful, peaceful, and no one wants for anything, what is it going to look like from here to there? What do you what do you want to see first? What are the children bringing to the table? The new 2012 children, the ones that have no amnesia. I can visualize them growing up and doing magnificent things. Magnificent things. That because there are cameras everywhere and the internet everywhere, that it's caught on tape and spread so that people start believing in it again and they start learning how to do it themselves. That's an easy one for me to visualize. It's easy for me to visualize telepathy. 
that's that's one of the the big things that'll be more at the front of my list. Visualizing all of the game players, all of the gods and goddesses in my timelines that I'm that I'm uh, uh, hooking up with as I go, that they become more patient. That's easy for me to do because uh, I think it would be very hard, and it's getting harder and harder anyway, this, I do believe this, that due to the internet, I know like my daughter, my daughter has been on the internet since she was four years old. Uh, I taught her to type on a keyboard, a computer keyboard, and she has reached out and has is friends with people all around the world, and she's been friends with them for... Uh, 20 she's got friends that she's known for 20 years around the world 15 to 20 years she's got people that she knows all around the world there is no way that my daughter would pick up a gun and be join an army pick up a gun and shoot anyone in on this planet for for the reasons that they have historically done it she she just wouldn't do it she just wouldn't do it. And it's because of that I can easily see the peace the, the peace on this planet because people are connecting. People are hearing each other. They know each other. They're not scared by the person who lives in a different country with different um, way of living. Because now we can reach out and talk to them and find out about them. We can push translate button and, and talk all day long. One of the biggest reasons I think even I made all kinds of excuses earlier in my life for not traveling is the language barrier. And we don't even have a language barrier anymore. As long as you've got a phone that's got internet access in one, some shape, some way or another, you can type what you want to say and push a button and it'll say it back. You can even get programs. For the areas that are, do not have internet access, that will translate stuff for you. So already that is, uh, those things are happening right now. I know that what my list is and what I see, and mine is going along beautifully. It really is. It's moving along beautifully. Because I've got the things that I believe with my belief systems and the way I was raised, I have looked through them and seen, okay, well, with my past, what can I know, visualize to the point of knowing that it's already there and those are the things that I'm doing. But I, I, I think I should have said this way before now, you need to not just look at 5D, you need to see the planet changing and how is it going to change for you? And that means you can't look at, at, at what's wrong, what you don't like. If you're heading for 5D Earth, you cannot. That, that's why it makes it difficult to go out there and fight against whatever it is in physical form. <clears throat> because it, made it makes it harder for you to already know. In your mind, you can look, yeah, I'm a god. There's already a timeline where there is peace on this planet. It's already there. I know it's already there. So I can smile, go to bed, go to sleep, knowing that timeline. Knowing that it's just a matter of me vibrating to match it. And I get that part of the tweak on the goggles. That's all I've got to do. That's all I've got to do. That's all you've got to do. So as you consciously learn to, to create, let's think that in your mind, that there's a reason why... You have always thought that you were you came here to change the planet. Because you did. You did. You are going to add that not only this planet, you are going to add a book. Just think book. Your life you now is a book. And that book goes on a shelf called the library, the Acacia Record Library. And I guarantee you, no matter what you've done wrong, you are going to be darn proud of that book. You're just going to have to trust me on that, guys. You're going to have to trust me on it. 
And from that perspective, see, you are changing the world and you always have. Okay? Okay, huge hugs to all you beautiful gods and goddesses out there. Continue on creating and changing the world at your whim, at your desire, whatever you'd like. Create the world. Go forth and create. <laughs> Alrighty then. Okay, guys. I'll talk to you later, and I love you so much. Bye now. Really, I mean, bye now. Ha, ha, ha.